Hey everybody, Danny here again with another Source Filmmaker tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on this attribute, self-illumination. So in TF2, certain items have this property called self-illumination, which as the name implies, lights itself up, even in the dark. So while in the game this looks great, in SFM it doesn't always look uh, fantastic. So this video is going to be focusing on how to disable it. So the items we'll be using today are the filamental and the apparitions aspect, since it's the easiest to notice the effect on here. So we're going to start off with the filamental. So you want to basically navigate to its material files. In this case it's going to be game, tf, materials, models, workshop, player, items, pyro, and we're going to go down to robo pyro filament pigment filament underscore one dot vmt so this program that i'm using right now is called vtf edit it's free and it's great it lets you actually um it shows you all the different texture files and uh, the vmts which are valve material files so we're gonna actually go down to here this dx90 portion and you're gonna see this line um dollar sign self loom one it's really simple. All you gotta do is take that one and switch that to zero and save it. Now, if we go into our console and type in mat underscore reload all materials. By the way, this command is a lifesaver. So, looks like nothing changed until we update, and there we go. You can see it is pretty much completely clear. If I disable my lights, you're gonna see that it's completely see through, which is a pretty nice effect. And if we add overriding materials over here and try to paint it, you'll see that it does paint completely. I'm just gonna go with, say, that. So it's a pretty nice effect, and it's really easy. So we're also gonna do this with the apparitions aspect. See, the re problem with self-illumination is that it tends to get rid of your painting effects. So even if you change the color, it doesn't really show up that well. Here we're just gonna paint this again. So you can see a little tinge of red, but the main white blob in the middle kind of ruins the effect. We're gonna do this again. This time for the apparitions aspect, you're gonna go to the same path. Except you're gonna go up here to ghost aspect. And you're just gonna open ghost aspect underscore one. And you're gonna go down to self loom, change that to zero. Reload your material. And there you go. So, nice and easy. Uh, really simple. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out a little bit. And as usual, I'm always going to put the links to any programs you're going to need down in the description. See you guys.